Revelio. Wonderful to see you again. Revelio. Revelio. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Leviosa! <laughs> Incendio. Wingardium Leviosa.
Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. How did you get on with those tasks? Revelio. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. its lesson, but do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. <laughs> Nothing to it. A 
I've seen worse. Come on, Neander. Oh. One for the ages. All in the wrist. game. At least he didn't beat me. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Try to beat that. Action. That was one for the ages. Action. Nothing to it. I'll let you have that one. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can. the races. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Revelio. Off to the races, then. Can't thank you enough for helping to save... 
Hello there. Nice to see you. Rebellion. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, Watch your back. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Welcome to the Hog's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, 
how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Revelio. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Repair it. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kinds see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Ah, and there it is, the witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Revelio. What are you up to now? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? I don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors. 
known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Revelio. It's sealed. Moths. Curious. Lumos. Revelio. Merlin's beard. Lumos. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here.
Lumos. Lumos. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Revelio. Lumos. This has a moth imprinted on it. The same as the door. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Huh. Wingardium <laughs> Leviosa.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Indonia Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa.
Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Repair. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. 